this is Uthred Ronaldson, and this is Call of War, World War II, Day 1, and I'm playing as Peru. Okay. So, what's up, guys? And uh, I'm now back again. And uh, this will be my first time doing a vlog for uh, the game Call of War World War II. Okay. This is the uh, first uh, game that um, when I was introduced to the long-term strategy war or LTG. So long-term LTSG probably something like that but yeah uh, this this is the first game that I uh, played um, in that genre so Call of War World War II so my name in this uh, in in this particular game is Uthred of Madrid the reason why my name is Uthred of Madrid is I didn't know that I will be changing countries each time I will be you know uh, finishing a game so yeah it's a name by mistake but we'll we'll, we'll change that uh maybe next time okay so i'll probably change it next time but let's keep it for now so i've joined this game since uh january 2 2021 so just recently joined the game also this year and uh, I also have a good stat um, in this game. I have a kill death ratio of 7.67. And um, before I leave the game, before I left the game, I have, I'm somewhere around 8 point something. But uh, I did lose a lot of units when I left the game. So, so there, um, my kill death ratio went down to 7.67. I have 13 games joined. So one is ongoing right now. Um, I have 11 wins and then I have one loss. So that loss, I, I could have won that game also, but I left the game, you know, felt tired. Um, that was, uh, I was playing Nationalist China. Um, I think I won that game. And then the other one was I'm playing Japan. So I, I was also about to win that game, but uh, I really get tired and uh, quit even before you know i finish the game so with uh, ai's i am at 14.97 kill death ratio so that's my statistics and as you can see uh, as you can see i have uh, good stats in this game so on this particular game we'll be playing as peru by the way guys i have 121,000 gold from my wins so I didn't purchase that okay plus you can also get free gold by watching ads in the game so so please don't call me please don't call me a uh, golder so I have 11 units uh, so I have a very small army at the beginning of the game um, this game is called the uh, um, what they call this game again Hold on. This game is called a is called uh, uh, nineteen thirty nine historic world war. So this game, uh, in this historic uh, scenario, you can replay the second world war on a global map with historically accurate borders and the power balancing of nineteen thirty nine. So the games that you can see here. <laughs> um, the borders here are. The same borders as 1939, historically accurate borders of 1939. So that was before the uh, um, the start of World War II in Europe. Although the war is already um, the war has already started here in in Asia against uh, the nationalist or against China and Japan. So this is what the map looks like here. Okay, so Japan is a powerful country here. It has lots of ships. 
So I'm really in I'm really an underdog an underdog nation here. So this is a very difficult game for me. This will be a very difficult game. As you can see the other nations here like the United Kingdom, the US, France, they all have two hundred and fifty plus. The UK and uh US has two hundred and eighty points already. So that means they have twenty eight cities uh available for them. Oh no. Um yeah, they have twenty eight cities. Because ten city one city is equivalent to ten points. So that's how the game that's how the points works here. So not like in a conflict of nations wherein the number of points you are you will get depends on the victory points and each territory it each uh um provinces will have a certain victory points. But here in Call of War, your goal is to capture cities to earn the points. And for you to win the game, you have to earn uh this number of points. Hold on. Um here. So for me, Peru, I need to earn where is Peru? Okay, here I need to earn 1,674 points. So that's 167 cities, I believe. So it will take me a long time. So I'm going to need to, I'm going to join coalitions here. Uh, definitely, because uh, my goal is to finish this game early. What I really wanted to do in this game is to join the Kelly Zero's um alliance again i want to be part of that alliance again and uh you know play with those guys again because they are i think one of the greatest uh coalitions here they're very organized their um their leaders are good players all of them are good um they instill discipline to their players so that's it's really a very good coalition so Maybe I can show them to you, but no, no, not right now. Anyway, so, okay, in this game, I'm already on the move. So as you can see, uh, that's always my first thing. The first thing that I will do here is to always consolidate my force. In this game, you, d you really don't need to... Um, well, you, you need to defend your cities, of course, but... Uh, I think I'm well defended here, so I'm just gonna create. I'm just gonna build a uh, an invading an invasion force. So I'm gonna leave some of the some of my uh, troops here as garrison, and then I'm gonna create an invasion force. So I'm gonna take this slowly because. Uh, You know, you, you don't need to rush the game to win. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create I'm gonna start uh, creating my air force, and then also I'm gonna build my navy also. My navy is important, so I'm gonna build uh, a navy. The good thing about Peru is that uh, my human opponents will be Argentina and Venezuela in South America. And then I'll have Mexico, U.S., and Canada in North America. So I will, I, I will be. Um, Mexico is a threat. If he decides to capture, to conquer, to attack me here, then I will be dead. And he, that's really possible. That's possible. That's why I cannot leave. I can't. I won't be able to leave my troops here undefended. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna need to build a navy. That's a priority. We need a we need a navy. And I don't know where I'm gonna start. My three coastal cities are now producing units, so I think I'm gonna have to wait and see. So, anyway, if I lose this game, that's fine. But, you know, 
as always, I play to win, so I'm really going. I'm gonna try my best to win this game, the best of my ability. I also have lots of gold, so I'm not gonna be shy. I'm not gonna, you know, be shy in using my gold. I'm gonna use my gold um, as much as I will, you know, as much as I want to. So, or as much as I needed. So, okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna share this to you guys, uh, maybe next time. I'm gonna share some of my, or the things that you would be checking here, like for example, the news. So look at this. This is always how it is in Call of War. During the early, you know, during the early part of the game. This is what <laughs> you will see a lot of people, you know, doing trash talk. Um, oh, Yugoslavia was caught um, right wing. Romania, okay. Okay. And also here in Call of War. You'll be able to see news like this. So the world's wealthiest nations, the world's uh, powerful, um, powerful economy, world's powerful um, army. Those are the things that you will see. Those are the things, uh, the news that you, the things that you will see in the news. So let me share this to you also. So the world's most dreaded nation. Okay. Round started. This round of Call of War has started. From now on, leaders can issue orders to all their departments as rough times lay ahead. The statesmen are advised to look out for allies. This can help in times of war and meeting their people's needs of basic resources. Open slots can still be taken by new players during the next days. Okay, so you can still access the game or you can still join the game uh, during the next days. So that's good. Okay, so... Wish me luck, guys. Um, I hope we win the game. I'm going to do the best, our best to win this game. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you, guys. And please support this uh, my video also.